Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you all the fresh and sizzling news all day long. If this is your first time here or you haven't subscribed to this channel and you have been watching us, like, why? <laughs> Did I offend you? Please go ahead and click on the subscribe button down below. Don't forget also to click on the thumbs up button. Let us know that you're enjoying this content and so that YouTube can also recommend this content to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. The NLC and TUC leaders have arrived at the presidential villa in Abuja to hold a meeting with the federal government about the sudden increase in the price of fuel and other issues. Sources reveal that the meeting was held at the office of a secretary to the government of a federation. The Labour leader's action followed the recent final removal of a fuel subsidy, which has led to the hike in the price of fuel that led to the sudden increase in the cost of living in the country. The Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC and Trade Union Congress of Nigeria, TUC leaders, are currently in a crucial meeting with the federal government to discuss the state of the nation, particularly petrol pricing and its far-reaching consequences. This meeting, held at the presidential villa at the office of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, George Akume, aims to address the labor union's concerns regarding the recent removal of fuel subsidies and their impact on the economy. News of Nigeria reported that the outcome of this meeting will be critical in determining the next steps for the labor unions and the federal government. Nigerians' recent fuel price hike has sparked widespread concerns among, among Nigerians, and rightfully so. The government's decision to remove fuel subsidies has led to petrol prices exceeding 1,000 naira per litre in major cities, which aims to create long-term economic stability and efficiency. By allowing market forces to determine fuel prices, the government hopes to free up resources for critical sectors like infrastructure, healthcare and education, addressing the country's chronic underinvestment. However, this shift comes with substantial risk, particularly for vulnerable Nigerians who must now bear the immediate burden of soaring fuel costs. The government's failure to adequately cushion the impact on these segments of society threatens to derail the broader benefits of this policy. Fuel is being sold at 2,500 naira in the all rich states after an alleged confiscation of trucks of IPMAN's members by the Joint Tax Force of Operation Delta Save in the States. According to the governor, the committee is responsible for addressing the fuel crisis in the States and bringing down the price of a commodity. Thank you, you all, for always listening and watching. This is where I'm going to draw the cutting for now. Bye for now.